All projects require access in a number of different forms, and this access must be analyzed and confirmed throughout the design process. This is typically done via a swept path analysis, whereby we can confirm, for example, that a fire engine can successfully reach and service a building in the event of a fire. Now having said this, the ability to analyze access to things within a building can be just as important as analyzing access to the building itself. Let me explain. In this example, we have an industrial park that contains a warehouse, a hospital, and a small airport. We will begin by reviewing the warehouse, where we can see a number of loading docks on the back of the building. Using Autodesk vehicle tracking, we could quickly analyze the driving maneuvers required by a large semi-truck to access any one of these docks. We simply select the vehicle and then pick points to simulate our driving. When it comes time to switch into reverse, we can select a line parallel to the dock to help us align automatically. From there, we can easily maneuver into the dock of our choice. For this example, we will pick a point to reverse our truck into dock number 8. When complete, we can review our swept path and see the vehicle envelope required to complete this maneuver. Now, Sometimes reviewing the envelope is not always obvious as to the actual vehicle movement itself without some additional context. We can quickly add this context by placing vehicle outlines along the path. Now the story doesn't end there, as we still need to perform some analysis on the inside of the building to evaluate the vehicle maneuvers required to load and unload the trucks. We will accomplish this by selecting another vehicle from the library, in this case a large forklift. As I select the forklift, it is important to note that AVT ships with more than a thousand predefined vehicles and includes a simple editor that you can use to quickly create anything else you might require. Essentially, if it has wheels and it can be steered, it can be modeled in Autodesk Vehicle Tracking. We will begin by placing the forklift in the building and then simulating the maneuver of accessing the back of one of the trucks. From there, we'll reverse back into the warehouse and then drive into the appropriate storage row where we can access the desired rack. As we perform all of these maneuvers, we can see the envelope being created so we can see the complete limits of the vehicle so that we know as we move around the building we know the limits of the vehicle and how much space be required. As we, ac as we access the rack, we can see much like the dock, we can select the one that meets our particular requirements. In this case, we'll take the second one from the end and then we will complete our maneuver by backing away from the rack such that we're ready to go out and get another load. Once complete, a closer inspection of the envelope shows a conflict with the opposite rack. Using the intelligent grips, we can refine our maneuver to see if the conflict can be resolved, and in this case it appears it can. Now before being finished, We'll also make an adjustment where we back the forklift away from the truck to ensure that we're completely within the building before turning. When finished, we have a swept path analysis envelope showing our proposed maneuver can be completed successfully. Having said this, some folks may not be convinced by looking at the envelope alone. In these cases, we can create a recorded animation showing the vehicle movement used to create the outline. In this animation, it can be created in either 2D or 3D with a single click. And when the 3D animation is displayed, there are a series of sliders on a camera control that we can alter our display or our 3D representation to the view that best meets our needs. So we can use a slider that we can control our distance backwards and forwards of the vehicle. We can control our height above the vehicle during the playback. We can also adjust side to side and even get a perspective from the driver's eye view. So the person that would be actually performing the, the maneuver in the forklift would be seeing a display consistent with what we saw there. In this case we'll wrap up by viewing it from the top and showing the access all the way into the rack. If we are required to create an exhibit showing the swept path analysis, there will likely be the need to show some of the specifications of the vehicle analyzed. To accomplish this, we can quickly select the swept path itself and then insert a profile. At this point, our work is complete on our warehouse project. Let's now move over and take a look at our airport terminal and see what forms of swept path analysis we can perform there. 
Now when it comes to the airport, we immediately think of airplane and related vehicle access. And we can analyze those things with Autodesk vehicle tracking. But in this example, I would like to focus once again on vehicle movement inside the building walls. In this scenario, we will have some elderly folks that exit the jet bridge area and require assisted transportation to retrieve their bags and exit the airport. To accomplish this, we will perform our analysis using the specifications of a six-person golf cart that's used by the airport. We begin by placing the golf cart in its proposed staging area, and then starting our maneuver, exiting the initial customs area, and then moving into the baggage claim area. Retrieving the check bags will be easy, because it's pretty much a straight shot. What will be more challenging is confirming that our six-person golf cart can make the 180-degree turn at the end of the wall and then negotiate around the claims area before reaching the exit. To accomplish the maneuver, AVT provides us several tools to assist us, or we can simply pick points to simulate driving the actual vehicle. As we pick our points, AVT is very flexible in that we can quickly experiment with slight variations on the maneuver. In other words, if it's not working out as we had hoped, we can easily back up and try something different. Along the way, we can even switch back and forth between picking points and some of the predefined tools. Sometimes, a slight change to when we execute our turn can make all the difference. In our example, it'll be tight, but it will be possible for the airport's cart to successfully reach the exit and then position itself such that it can return back to the staging area. At this point, our work is now complete on the airport project. Let's move over and take a look at our final example where we'll investigate the hospital site plan. When we think of hospital access, we're immediately drawn to things like cars, trucks, and emergency vehicles. And Autodesk Vehicle Tracking will have no trouble with any of those. However, in this example, I'd like to focus more on accessibility inside the facility. We will begin by choosing a standard mobility scooter that would be common for someone visiting the hospital campus. In this case, we would like to simulate a couple of scenarios to confirm that the scooter driver can successfully reach the areas of the hospital they require. First, we would like to verify if the scooter could successfully maneuver to access the consulting areas from either side. Now, access from the west would be easy because there's a lot of room available, but access from the east would be a little more tricky as the scooter would need to reach the interior hallway. Our analysis quickly shows us several things. Entering the areas even from the west will be a tight squeeze. Turning to access the interior hallway will be problematic, and then accessing the consulting rooms from the east will be impossible. In our second scenario, we have several employees who work at the hospital that use one of these scooters. We would like to verify if they could in fact access their work area through one of the hospital side access areas while riding their scooter. To accomplish this, we will begin once again by selecting the appropriate design vehicle, starting at the side entrance of the hospital, and then picking points to drive into the work area. As we pick our points, we can see very quickly that while it won't be spacious, it will be very possible for an employee driving one of these mobility scooters to successfully maneuver to their work area. Now in our final example, we'll run a couple of simulations using a hospital gurney. We would like to confirm that the gurney can successfully maneuver from the ambulance drop-off to the emergency room area. We will begin by selecting the hospital gurney from AVT's vehicle library and then place it in the hallway adjacent to the ambulance drop-off. Once placed, we will pick points to maneuver the gurney down the hall, into the emergency room area, and then into one of the evaluation rooms. Throughout the process, we learn that the maneuver can be performed successfully, but it may be a tight squeeze, especially entering the evaluation room. In the event that the patient required surgery, let's simulate moving the gurney into the surgery and recovery area to see how well the same gurney would perform. As we pick our points to simulate the gurney movement, we see that negotiating the hallways should not be any problem. However, access to the surgery room itself may be problematic with the current location of equipment, especially if we're required to align the gurney adjacent to the operating table. Also, when the surgery is complete, we can simulate any challenges that might exist using the same gurney to move the patient into the recovery area. And with that, our work on the hospital portion of our project is complete. 
Looking back on what we've accomplished, in less than 10 minutes, we've used Autodesk Vehicle Tracking to perform swept path analysis on three different project types to simulate vehicle access both inside and outside of a building. At the warehouse, we were able to evaluate the movement of a forklift for loading and unloading trucks. The same analysis could be used for both proposed and existing scenarios. For example, ensuring the proposed rack spacing can be safely accessed by the equipment, or verifying the new forklift can successfully negotiate the existing rack layout, or even confirming the analysis envelope remains outside of a defined safety area. At the airport, we simulated the movement of a six-person golf cart. The same procedure could be used to evaluate any number of people movers at the airport, as well as handicap equipment and service vehicles in both existing and proposed situations. And at the hospital, we explored several swept path analysis examples, including a mobility scooter and a hospital gurney. Similar simulations could be performed on movement of large medical equipment, as well as crash carts. And finally, Using Autodesk Vehicle Tracking's custom vehicle editor, the size and types of steered vehicles that can be analyzed both inside and outside of a building to confirm access is truly endless.